Okay, cinnamon, chamomile, and turmeric. There's no turmeric in here. I, I'm missing the turmeric, although there would have made turmeric. But anyways, the old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. This is basically the tea that I drink before I go to sleep, about one hour before I go to sleep. And usually what I do is I also, with this, I also take one apple cider vinegar pill and I take a garlic pill, which I'll put links to down below in the description. What is the main function of this tea? The chamomile, right, first of all, the chamomile starts the sleep process, right? So that's why I drink this about an hour before I go to sleep. And it just helps me to get a better night's restful sleep. Chamomile, it, it just has that quality about it. So then the cinnamon helps to lower blood sugar, right? It's also an antioxidant. And if I, if I drink this before I go to bed on a, in, a, in a fasted state, let's say in a fasted state where I haven't eaten in a while, like let's say it's been four or five hours uh, after my last meal, that cinnamon just kind of helps to lower the blood sugars as I sleep. And then what the turmeric does, which is missing, like I said, normally there'd be turmeric in here and the color would just be this radiant orangey kind of brown. But what the turmeric does is the turmeric is an antioxidant. It's also an anti-inflammatory. And it also helps in that fasted state for my body to tap into more stored body fat while I sleep. So now you're wondering, like, how do I sweeten this, right? Because if I put sweetener in there, isn't that going to spike the blood sugar? Well, here's the trick. I use allulose, right, which is spelled all you lose. I'll put a link down below in the description. The allulose gives it a little sweetness. And the cinnamon does too, to a certain extent, but the allulose helps to sweeten it just a little bit without any kind of blood sugar spike. So theoretically, as I go to sleep, my blood sugar shouldn't spike at all, right? Or, or very minimally because there's really no sugar in here. Some people might say uh, to use honey, which even I had in a previous video, I said, you know, just put some raw honey in there, which is totally fine. You should be okay, you know, as long as you're not overdoing the honey. Like the goal is to try to keep the blood sugar as low as possible so that as I'm sleeping, this tea will help me to sleep, but it'll also help me to tap into some of that stored body fat along with the apple cider vinegar and the garlic pill. Uh, so just to kind of had some variations or, or you know, taste and, and flavors and that kind of stuff, we just got out of the holidays, right? This is February, 2024. So to flavor this tea this time, like if the cinnamon wasn't enough, I put in some mulling spices, which I'll put links down below in the description. Uh, but a, a variation of this could be lavender, like lavender chamomile. What a combination, right? Or I could do hibiscus, like hibiscus chamomile, another great combination. Sometimes all three of those, you know, it just, it, what's it, whatever you're in the mood for. This is just like a structure, like an outline and then... You at home, if you want to experiment, you can kind of do whatever you want. But I did put links down below to in the description section to everything that I used and also some variations that you might want to try. Uh, some people will say take turmeric with a pepper. So I put a link down below to some pepper that you ha you'll have to grind up or you can use the whole berries in here. And then as long as you strain it out, you know, as long as you strain out the tea, you're good to go. Uh, what was in this particular tea was I had, I did have chamomile tea bags, so I used those. But if you want, you can buy the chamomile flowers themselves, like just buy in bulk. You know, it's easy. I'll put links down below in the description to some of the best deals that I've found, right? Highest quality, lowest prices, best bang for the buck. So I'll put links in the description to those. Uh, but as you can see in here, there's a couple little allspice berries, right? And there was some uh, cinnamon in here as well that I, that I put in, but also the mulling spice has cinnamon in it. Then there was another, there were two types of tea bags that I used, chamomile and also uh, Aprica makes a great product called uh, Sleep Time, which is their version of sleep tea and it has peppermint in it and it's got the chamomile. So it's like a double dose of chamomile. So I had that in here. Uh, but anyways, I did put some variations down below that you can kind of just experiment and toy around with. But basically what I did was I brought this up to a boil, covered it, shut off the gas completely on the stove top, let it steep pretty much like five, six hours at least. It, sometimes I'll let it go longer, like even eight hours. And then what I'll do is I'll strain it off. So with a strainer and a funnel, right? Then I pour it into these bottles 
And basically, this is what you get. And the longer you let it sit, like if you let it sit in the fridge, maybe for like a few days or whatever, what will happen is, is a lot of that cloudiness will sink down. You get a more clear liquid on top and you'll get like the the very fine, minute cinnamon particles will go down to the bottom. So usually if I, if I want to drink it cleaner, what I'll do is I'll just drink the top part. But I like getting the benefit, the full benefits. So I shake it up and then I drink the whole tea. Normally what I would do is about a cup, which ironically, this is like a little, this is about like a half cup size, this little strainer, but somewhere around there, just like one cup. And sometimes I'll put it in the microwave and heat it up right before I go to bed. Or sometimes I'll just put it over ice and drink it that way. If it's hot, like if it's hot outside, middle of August in Southern California, 110, 115 degrees, I'll pour it over ice and then just drink it that way or whatever. Uh, but anyways, the point of the whole video, the real crux of if you if you squish down the nutrients and the essence of what this video is, is I drink the chamomile to help me to fall asleep. There's cinnamon in here and turmeric. The cinnamon is the antioxidant, also helps to lower the blood sugar to get me into that fasted state longer and quicker and throughout the night so that I can tap into that stored body fat. And then the turmeric is the antioxidant and also anti-inflammatory. Inflammation is, in my opinion, just after the research that I've done over the last seven years-ish, give or take, inflammation is the root cause of a lot of problems. So by drinking the turmeric, I'm helping to bring down that inflammation, especially at nighttime, uh, just to kind of you know help with all that stuff. Everything else is just flavoring. You know, the allulose that's in here, all you lose, remember that's how it's spelled, is a sweetener that doesn't, it does not spike your blood sugar. So sometimes I'll put honey in it, which will spike the blood sugar, but not as bad as like, say, sugar would, refined sugar. I try to cut out all the refined sugar as much as I can. But anyways, that's basically it. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down there below. Check out the comment section. Comment if you have any comments for future videos, if there's a product that you want to see, whatever the case may be. I'll try my best to try to attain a choir or somehow. Sometimes I just have to buy them. <laughs> I'll just buy the product and do a review if it's something that I think I might use or whatever. But anyways, with that being said, here's another look at the tea itself. There's some allspice berries floating around in there. And uh, as mentioned, I didn't have turmeric this time around, but normally I would put turmeric in there which would change this color from this kind of murky brown to like a, a more brighter neon kind of an orange color. That's what the turmeric does when you put it in there as far as the color goes. But there's some other uh, mulling spices that were in there. Let's see if I can find some. I think there was some residual like that might be like uh, the cinnamon that's kind of clumping up or whatever. But anyways, really good stuff. I strain it and then put it in these bottles and then just drink it. You kind of get the idea. Like button, subscribe button, check out the description section, hit the comment section, and I'll catch you all in the next exciting video.